Good morning, guys. We are going to talk about the impressive current cathodic protection. Until today, you know that the process to protect your boat, the best process is uh, with sacrificial anodes. No? What is the function of the sacrificial anodes? Sacrifice, eroded, to protect other metals. That's it. And uh, how is the connection of those external sacrificial anodes with the boat? With the bonding conductor internally, and the bonding conductor connected with each metallic element, and additionally the bonding conductor connected with the negative boost bar in the DC panel and ground boost, bar. ground boost bar in the AC panel. We are going to clarify the difference between bonding, grounding, ground, current carrying conductor, and non-current carrying conductor. Okay, we are talking about DC current. In DC current, normally you have the positive cable, what color is? Red. 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 The negative? Yellow, yellow, or yellow or black. And the ground. What color is? Green. It's green. Or green with yellow if it's so European. Blue. Okay, now AC. AC, single phase. We have hot, we have a neutral, we have a, a ground. This is single phase, three elements. If it's double phase, you have hot, hot, neutral, and ground. It's clear, guys? Okay. Pay attention. When you talk about double phase equipment, you connect hot, hot, and ground. Ground is the, is the reference. When you connect three phase motors, three phase equipment, three phase, heavy motor, heavy compressor in shops, hot, 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 and ground, no neutral. The neutral is exclusive for single phase installation. In the outlet on the wall, you have hot, neutral, and ground, correct? We are going to return to DC. Positive is red, negative is black, and uh, the ground is green or green with jet. What about the red cable? Is current carrying conductor or non-current carrying conductor? Excuse me? Current carrying conductor. What about the black one? Is current carrying conductor or non-current? Is current carrying conductor because it's the return. No? What about the green? Is current carrying conductor? No, no, this is in DC. In AC, we are going to talk about double phase. The black and the red are current carrying, current carrying conductors. The white one? No. The white one? Current carrying conductor is the return. The green, non-current carrying conductor. The green, no. How much, ABYC question, how much should be the current flowing uh, typically in the in the bonding uh, conductor? No more than well, zero. 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 Should be zero. Oh, oh in oh. some situation during the storm, you have a, a lot of voltage, a lot of amps, yeah. That's designed to drain that current immediately. Okay, this is current carrying conductor. Okay, what is the meaning of bonding? What is bonding? Together. It's the process to connect all the metallic elements inside of my boat together and connected with a specific metal. The name of that metal is the bonding conductor. This is the process. And that process is called bonding. And what is grounding? When I connect that bonding conductor with a cable to the external sacrificial anode. This is grounding. Ah, and what is ground? Ground is the reference to the, to the ground. You, you see the difference? Bonding is the, the connection. Grounding, the connection of this network with the external sacrificial anode. And ground is the reference to the ground. All right, so That's clear, the, that concept, guys, in the future? Excuse me, uh, now your, your question. Which one is more aggressive, AC or DC? Pay attention. The corrosion is accelerated in between two metals together in a marine environment, you remember galvanic corrosion? It's because basically a small DC currents are flowing in between the metals and accelerate the corrosion. Those currents, those currents are, are DC, DC. A static electricity is DC. Ah, how can I create a static electricity? Ah, a static electricity normally is coming from a electrons that are jumped from the motors when the motors are spinning. What type of motors? AC or DC motors. 
when the motors are spinning and the motor, the case of the motor is not ignition protected, what happened? What happened? Some electron jumped and those electrons are stored as where? In the case of the equipment. If the case of the equipment is not connected to the bonding conductor, what happened with that equipment when you touch that equipment? Uh, you discharge the equipment. You are the bonding conductor in that moment. But now that's static electricity. You are the draining. Right? All the elements connected internally to the bonding conductors are protected for those external guys, those external anodes. It's a drain. Those external anodes are eroded, they are sacrificed, and the rest of the boat is clean. Okay, everything in my boat should be connected to the bonding conductor. Uh, I have a question. Uh, the rail on the deck should be connected? No. Yes? Yes, one of the balls of the rail should be connected with the bonding conductor. If not, during the storm, what happened with the rail? <coughs> Finito. My anchor also, yeah? any metallic part in my boat, the tower should be connected to the bundle. Any metallic part. Any metallic part. It's clear, guys? It's clear the difference between bonding, grounding, and ground? It's clear the difference between current carrying conductor and non-current carrying conductor? Uh, it's clear that uh, static electricity is the electricity that accelerates the corrosion in between the similar metals? It's clear that uh, static electricity is uh, electricity storage. It's DC, not AC. AC is electricity AC. produced for the rotation of electromagnets in front of a coil. That's it. Okay, great, no, guys? Until today, this is the only way that we know to protect a boat with those external sacrificial anodes. And, uh, and it's clear the theory, no? We need to do that. Ah, and additionally to that connection that we did right now, uh, we need to install a galvanic isolator, no? It's, uh, if I have short power cable, I need galvanic isolator. Where is located the galvanic isolator? Oh, In the ground. Power. What ground? The ground coming from the short power cable. Immediately the ground enter in my in my boat. A couple of inches later, I install in series or parallel with the ground cable, the, the, the galvanic isolator. Series. In series, I cut it, the cable, and I insert the galvanic isolator over there. That galvanic isolator is like a filter. Block the intrusion of bad currents coming through the ground from the marina in my boat. Perfect. This is the second protection. Okay, that's, that's clear, guys? Good? All right. Until today, this is the only protection that we know, and this is the most common protection, and this is the protection that you find in the majority of the boats uh, uh, Europe, in America, in, in the world.